length up. So, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just joking with you. Well, um, day's been good. It was, eh, pretty good. Went to the school, had, oh yeah, we went to this sick restaurant called Bahama Breeze. Really cool. A couple of the waiters had, um, like, dreads and stuff, so that was tight. I ordered a chicken grilled sandwich, but then I also ordered another beef patty to go on top of it, you know? Because that's just what I do, is get big hamburgers, because I like big burgers. I always go to Fat Burger, I always go to freaking Monster Burger or whatever, and so I'm used to burgers that are, like, moderately to large size. And so I get this burger, and it's like... On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the largest I've eaten, and 1 being like a miniature Krabby Patty, it was like a like a 7. So it wasn't huge, but it was still like a big hamburger. And so I get that, and so it's nothing weird for me, but then all these waiters like start coming over and like, you're that guy who ordered that one burger. Wow, dude, that's super tight. Savage, bro. And I'm like, well, thanks, God. It's cool. So that was fun. I don't know. But, um, a thing that I actually do want to talk about is, uh, sincerity. And so, I was just chilling. We had come back from the restaurant, and I was playing Cards Against Humanity, which is a ridiculous game. Very inappropriate. Uh, I was playing that game with some kids from my class, and my buddy called me, and he's, like, in some trouble. So, I had, I, like, dropped everything and went out and, like, talked to him. And we talked for a while, and, um... It just kind of occurred to me after that, like, how much sincerity is just not, not looked at, not confronted, not brought into being in our day-to-day -day lives. Like, think about the last time you were super, like, straight-up, hardcore, sincere. Like, this is you, right? This fist is you. And then you just build up these layers of stuff around it. These are my pajamas. You just build, this is your fist. This is you. And then these are layers of protection around you to keep you from getting hurt by other people, other things. And all this junk is built up until this is you. And so when you're sincere, all that comes off and you're just there, completely vulnerable and completely open to whatever happens, whether it be positive or negative. And a lot of people are afraid and hurt by the negative, which is kind of what happens when that happens hits you but when you're actually sincere with people you just you're both at that level where you're just solid and you're completely just open and then you just converse or talk or have a moment or whatever that is like a beautiful thing that people can have and I'm really this isn't about me it's about the other people in the world and it's just really sad that people don't do that more you know like if people had if people did that all the time they'd feel like friggin closer to each other for one they'd feel like they communicated better and were more in touch with each other the world would just be better because people wouldn't just be and just beating on each other because they'd be vulnerable with each other and they would have that <sighs> closeness i guess and so i had this conversation with my friend and he was struggling with girl issues, and I'd like to actually cover that at some point. Um, well, I can freaking edit my videos. But he was struggling with some girl issues, and I just, I tried my best to just listen to him and let him talk. Because that's what needs to happen for, for anything. Is for People need to voice what they are going through. They need to voice what their thought process is so that they themselves can process it. And this isn't just like about him, it's just about everybody. And the worst thing that happens is when someone is struggling and having this really difficult time and someone else comes to help them, this person starts to voice their issues and then this one just boom, oh yeah, that happened to me one time, what you gotta do? No, no, no. That's the worst thing because you're blocking their flow, right? Of Their consciousness is like this river that's just going and they're like trying to figure out what's going on and you're supposed to be this channel that keeps it from just and you're supposed to keep it focused and then some people just put themselves like a dam right in the way they're like and do what i do brah and it's the worst so i don't know just being sincere and 
trying to help people channel what they want to say. Like, don't be their words. Just, like, ask the right questions that lead to their own answers, you know? And with the whole being sincere thing, like, I'm about to... I mean, I'm not going anywhere, really. A bunch of the people are leaving and going to different places. And, like, one guy just going to Japan. One guy's going to New York. A couple other people are going, like, snow quality and all these places. And I'm just like, meh, whatever. And it's not bad that they're moving out. But I still want to be able to... I just want to be one of those figures that can be sincere with people and not have all this crap over it. Because you want, I don't know, security, maybe, in people that are that with you. And I just want to be able to connect with people, really. And, yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed. Um, the love of my life texted me and asked me to go swing dancing with her. But I was watching a movie called Arahan, which is a great movie. You guys should watch it fun but anyways sincerity and connecting and all that jazz people boom people are the best thing in the world yeah i'm gonna go to bed hope you have a great day